In a separate movie, I showed how you can use the new adaptive wide angle filter in Photoshop CS6 to process single images. But as well as this, it is also possible to process panorama photo stitch images, such as the photograph that you can see here, using the adaptive wide angle filter. But more specifically, it's important to realize that this will only work if you're using Photo Merge in Photoshop CS6. This is because it's only in CS6 that a Photo Merge will embed the necessary lens correction, lens profile information that will allow the adaptive wide angle filter to work. So what I'm going to show you here will only work on a Photo Merge that has been created in CS6, not on any existing Photo Merge images that you might have created using older versions of Photoshop. Anyway, let me start showing you the steps that would be used to uh, create um, a, a correction of this image. Okay, so let me go to the filter menu and choose the adaptive wide angle filter, which opens up the filter dialog. And as in the other example that I showed in the other movie to do with this filter, you can see that it begins by applying a shape conformal correction to the image. And the objective now is to use the constraint tools to refine this further. So to begin with, I've got the regular constraint tool selected up here, top left. And if I click to add the first point and hold down the shift key, I can apply a horizontal uh, constraint across the horizon line there. And then I think the best thing for me to do is to tackle the biggest problem, which is the curvature down here at the bottom by adding a regular constraint line to follow across there and then add in just a few more lines to keep on correcting the image. And bit by bit, as I add these constraints, I can start to refine the image further. And it's beginning to look a lot better, certainly in the bottom half of the image. Now, with the Auditorio building itself, there are no uh, regular um, horizontal or vertical lines that I can reference. So this is a good example of where you may want to use the Polygon Constraint Tool, which is just up here below the regular constraint tool. And to use this, you just simply make a series of clicks to define the area that you want to correct. And then it's important to click on the first point to finish the correction. And you can always click and adjust these points to refine your selection. Now, essentially what's happening here is that by, by using the polygon constraint tool, you define an area of the image where you're basically telling the adaptive wide angle filter that you want to make full use of the lens profile information that has been embedded into this photo merge image to correct the image. And this will work with regular photos as well, not just with photo merge uh, images. You can use the polygon constraint tool on those as well. So that's applied a uh, proper lens correction to that image. But as you can see, it doesn't look quite right. The image looks rather squashed in the middle. So there are a few more things that we need to do. And I find often when working with photo merge photographs that you do tend to need to do a lot more work on them compared to editing just a regular image. So if I hold down the shift key, I'm going to apply a vertical constraint, which I'll then need to edit to make sure that it follows correctly the line of the building on the left. So let me just edit the two endpoints here to get that looking correct. And then I'm going to add a another constraint on the outer edge here as well, holding down the shift key. Maybe just add in another one there as well at that point. And each time I do this, it should, we should see the image starting to uh, take better shape. And then if I add one more vertical constraint in the middle, and finally, you can see these wavy outlines here at the top and the bottom. They've got wavy edges. If I use the regular constraint tool without the shift key held down, let me just try and correct those. And do the same at the bottom. At this stage here, I'm pretty pleased with the way the image is now looking. If I click OK, I can then apply this correction to the photograph. And here you can see the finished result. There's the 
image that we started off with, with a lot of curvature, as you can see at the bottom. And that's the fully uh, corrected version using the adaptive wide angle filter. And if I want to, I can then use the crop tool to crop the image. And that would be the absolute final uh, version. So there's an introduction to working with the adaptive wide angle filter uh, using a panorama stitch image. And as I mentioned earlier, the important thing to remember here is that this will only work if you create the photo merge image using Photoshop CS6.